For today's video, we are going to do a quick freestyle Python game development test between ChatGPT01 Pro Mode and Google Gemini Flash 2.0 Experimental. Now, for the purpose of our testing, we are essentially going to allow either of these models to generate a Python game that really allows them a lot of creative freedom. I do have a little prompt written up here, so I will quickly go ahead and read through this before we just jump right into it. Please generate a Python script that when run will allow a user to play a game. The game can be as intricate or as simple as you would like to make it. The only restrictions are that it must work on the first run with no errors and no difficult to install dependencies can be used in the script. The game will be run on Ubuntu. Following the script generation, please do the following. List the dependencies necessary along with the shell commands required to install them and provide a simple set of instructions on how to play the game, the point of the game, and then we're allowing them to name the game. So we're going to just jump right into it. And I suppose we will go ahead and start with ChatGPT Pro Mode, as it does oftentimes take a little while to actually think through some things. I've been using this for a little while just kind of to test it. I don't really intend on keeping the subscription as it is rather crazy pricing. But I notice it does spend a lot of time thinking, but it also seems... I won't say unfriendly, but it's very unemotional, which apparently is something that I had become accustomed to when speaking with LLM. So I am not sure how to parse that, but we're going to let it run and I'll fast forward until it's done and then we'll play the games. It does seem like we have a little treasure maze game. It has no dependencies whatsoever. so. This is probably going to be a relatively text-based game. Now, what I am going to do is just go ahead and have Google generate it now as well. And then when this is done, we will test them both side by side. Well, wow. okay, speed-wise, Flash is definitely living up to its name. However, that does not necessarily indicate anything. Okay, here's simple guessing game. All right, I'm going to look these over and kind of just get some background info on how they work, and then we'll run them side by side. All right, so they both essentially made some form of a guessing game. Now, Pro Mode made a little game called Treasure Maze, where essentially you look through different rooms to see if you can find the treasure before the time runs out. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And Gemini just made a number guessing game. So, um... <laughs> I suppose these are rather like <laughs> really simple examples that were outputted by two of arguably the best LLMs in current existence. So I don't know what to make of that. I think I will run this again right after playing these just to make sure my like prompt doesn't suck. We'll, we'll give them graphical ability. So let's go ahead and try Gemini's game first. I'm thinking of a number. I have seven guesses. I'm going to go with 28. Too high. Okay, it gives me a little bit of information. All right, so 12. Too low. 21. Too high. 19. 16. Too high. 13. 14. All right, I won. <laughs> and on the last try. Well, that really was... Honestly, perhaps a bit more entertaining than you would have expected initially by looking at it. Okay, so that was Gemini's game. And now we are going to go ahead and play the ChatGPT game, which to be honest with you, the instructions were like a little more complicated. So I need to look at them again. Okay, so it seems like it'll walk me through this in the terminal as well. So that makes me feel a bit better. Welcome to Treasure Maze. You find yourself at the entrance of a mysterious maze rumored to hold great treasure. Navigate through the maze by typing directions, north, south, east, or, east, or west. Find the hidden treasure before you run out. I'm at the entrance. Passages lead east and south. Which direction do you want to go? All right. Let's just go. Let's go east. A long haul. This is actually kind of cool a long hallway with torches on the walls you can go west back to the entrance or east to the guard post i think i'm going to go east to the guard post seems abandoned i can go back north to the armory i'm feeling i should go back to the hallway the 
go back to the entrance. And then I am going to go south this time. Hopefully it wasn't in the armory. Dead end. Oh, I can only go north back to... Oh. Okay, then I guess I need to go to the armory. I'm going to go north to the armory. Treasure's got to be in the armory. East. You know, I realized the code probably just says the answer. I didn't really read the codes. <laughs> A locked door to the east. I want to unlock that door. All right. Um, let's go east. All right. I found the treasure. Gems and gold fill the room. Congratulations. You found the treasure and won the game. That's uh, very good. And now I realize the code was like right there. But to be honest with you, I was not quote unquote cheating. I was really genuinely playing the game. Well, they both kind of did the same thing conceptually, but in vastly different implementations of such. All right, so I have changed the script a little bit to basically do the same thing, but the game is now going to be intricate. It must be graphically and mechanically impressive, and the only restrictions are that it must work on the first try. So since we did GPT first last time, let's go ahead and do Gemini once more. Is there a way to make a new a new chat in this thing? Yeah, all right, cool. So let's uh, see how fast it goes. All right, so we're only going to need Pi game for this. Okay, so it seems like a combat game. Ooh, lasers. Very quick. I don't know why my computer's fans are ramping up because this is entirely running on the internet, but... <laughs> okay, so... I will go ahead and need to install Pi game. My dependency. All right, and I am going to go ahead and just run this first, and then we'll go do the ChatGPT one instead of doing them side by side, as these are a little more intricate. And let's just take a look at it real quick. Space Invaders, gridlock is to destroy waves of incoming alien enemies. Each enemy destroyed earns 10 points. If you get crashed into, the game will end. Left and right arrow keys, space bar to fire. All right. Seems pretty cool to me. I will go ahead and just do that and do this. And let's play this Gemini game. All right. I'm going to shoot at... Oh, <laughs> Ooh, okay. So the explosion... The explosion was good. Um, is there any more coming, or was that the only? The explosions are pretty cool, actually. Well, the one we saw. Did I neglect to read something? Or Waves of enemies will appear and descend towards you. All right, so. All right, well, it seems that only one enemy wave appeared, but it was kind of cool, and Space Invaders Gridlock, probably give this around a C or a C plus. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it with ChatGPT. This is more of a casual video, I guess, where I'm just kind of like on the fly, just playing with these and seeing what's up, but I am, this is fun, and I hope that it provides some form of either educational value or entertainment value to anyone who decides to watch this. All right. Pro mode is mapping our game, so basically just going to go ahead and do the same thing where I comment that out. I will say that now that I've had a little bit of time to think about it, that, that treasure maze was kind of not bad. And we can see the time differential between the generations from 01 Pro mode and from um, Gemini 2.0 Flash. 
Now, one could perhaps think like maybe they just made it seem like it's thinking longer and just put in like a delay of X seconds to make it seem like you're getting your money's worth. But I have found that if you give it more simple queries, it will respond quicker and won't think as long. So it does actually think depending upon the complexity of what you give it in terms of how long it takes. Okay. So this game is called Astro Escapade. Control a space traveler by trying to reach the far end of a treacherous 2D landscape. Goal is to move from the starting position on the left to the green area located far to the right while navigating platforms of varying heights. Okay, <laughs> it almost sounds like Mario. All right, let's try it. And we only are going to need Pi Game. I am really enjoying this. And considering we have already installed the correct dependency, let's go ahead and play. Oh. Did I? <laughs> I think <laughs> I glitched it out. I moved my character the wrong way and it went off the screen. All right, let's <laughs> just try this once more. My bad. All right, so. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Come on. Oh, yep. This thing literally just made like <laughs> Super Mario. <laughs> oh, well. It doesn't seem to show me game over, I fell. All right. Again, I would have to give this one a C plus as well. So they both did all right, I suppose we could say. Um, pardon me as I kind of try to parse what we just saw. Overall, though, I would say they performed very, very close. They both made the same types of games on either try, and they were both equally as fun slash glitchy for the games that actually used Pygame and were more graphically impressive. Overall, I suppose I just wanted to kind of show a objective comparison of what they did and how they did it. And it is really cool to see that the models just keep getting better as according to the LM Arena, at least, or whatever it's called now. So, fun little kind of Saturday night game dev. <laughs> All right, this was cool. This was a lot of fun.